You want to go to Knobles? You want to go to Knobles? Oh, I thought so. Well, come on. Let's get ready. Let's go. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Come. Good boy. Wait for me. Come look at the house. Nucky. Good boy. Make sure my house is locked. All right. Come. Come. Nucky. Truck. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Got the buckle, yeah. Where's the clip? There it is. Here we go. Good boy. Off to Nobles. Uh, yes, it's closed. Um, for days of the week now. Uh, right now it's open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays for hella fun weekend. Hey, yeah. Um, whereas it has not been Anaki's first Halloween, this will be his first time going to Hello Fun. So I'm curious how he's going to react to people in costumes, walking around the park, and all the different smells, and the live entertainment that's going to be here that's all free. Um, and we're just going to have a good time. And we're actually parked out pretty far. So we're going to try to wait for a trip. The entrance is way over there. So, we're going to try amusement park is a dog-friendly park, so there will be normal dogs around here, um, and there will be lots of people probably trying to come up to him, because they're going to think he's a normal dog, even though the tags clearly say otherwise, but, you know, that's how it is, service dog team. Sit! Almost ready, buddy. But there will probably be... Quite a bit of footage. There's people in costumes, there's dogs. And yeah, this will be really interesting to see. And this again, this is his first Hello Fun, so. With me? Leave it. Easy, easy. All the rules and stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Easy boy. Easy buddy. I know. It's a big event. I know. There's a lot of people. Easy. Hey. Alright. I think you need a minute to sit. Come. Come here. Sit. You're really struggling today, Papa. Leave it. Yeah. Oh, they have an animatronic witch this year. Huh. Stay. There we go. Oh cool boy. Leave it. Stay. Thank you. He's panting a little bit. Hope it's not stress panting. Oh boy. Take it easy. Easy. Uh -uh. I didn't release you. Shit. Oh boy. There we go. You ready to keep walking? Good boy. Come on. Easy. Easy. Wait. Wait. I'm checking something. Leave it. 
Naki, focus. Focus. Atta boy. He's up. Focus. Leave it. There we go. Much better. He's not pulling as hard as he was. Hey, hey. Focus. Sit. Stay. Don't butt scoot. Stay. There we go. Section of the park. Making him sit. Trying to get him to a quieter section. Get let him get his bearings. It's all part of uh, public trading. Leave it. Good. Good boy. Okay, it's much, much quieter over here. Not a bunch of rides making noise. Not a lot of blaring music or people. Come. Easy. He wants to pull because he's very excited. And as you guys see, if you, uh, Naki, if you've been keeping up on our channel, we did have him a long time ago on a prong collar. And then we put him on the gentle leader. Now we bought this bungee leash, Naki. See, it adds a bunch of resistance. Well, not really resistance. Uh, I can't think. It bounces back. It's more of a shock absorber, so he doesn't pull as hard. And it'll pull him back without hurting him, but... See, I can correct him and get him a little loose. And he's at least finally on a flat collar. But he wants to pull because there's a lot going on. He's very excited. And the reason he flinches when I do that... Um, that was part of his correction with the training collar, which we're slowly breaking him up. And it's also um, just his correction word in general. Easy. But uh, I have one hand on the leash, one hand on the phone, so Naki, sit. I'm not using the collar to execute commands or anything like that. And I'm obviously not pushing any buttons right now. Again, this is his first Hello Fun. Very, very big event. But I think he can do it. He'll, he's been here about maybe 10 minutes. He'll settle down soon, or he should. But uh, I might grab a bite to eat and sit down and have him relax and see what he does. Naki. Leave it. Good boy. Easy. Watch your pulling. Wait. A lot of people. We gotta be. Please don't do that. He's a service dog. It's distracting. Come. Good boy. He's starting to get agitated with the amount of people going up to him. Oh, husky. Oh, puppy. Don't do that. Naki. See, he is very distracted now, more than he was. Naki, sit. Relax. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. I know, you're trying very hard. I know. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Very good. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Stay. Good focus. Oh Good God, boy. Okay. Can I pet your dog? No, he's a working dog. Oh, and he went right into blocking. Good boy. Your dog's pretty. Thank you. I think that is perfect time to get a Excuse you. No. That's a no no. Thank you. No. You sit. You sit and you calm down. Leave it. Okay, for any of those of you who did not catch it, 
Um, it's probably a habit we have to break from the pet store. This is my fault, 100%. He went to reach for a child stuffed animal in the wagon. Uh, I corrected him. I did not use the remote to correct him. I, please don't pet him, honey. Leave it. Um, I corrected him. I did not use the collar to do it. He knows right from wrong, but I think he got a little confused, probably because I let him do it at the pet store. That is 100% my fault. Right, come. Easy. Now, if there's anybody out there that's going to be like, big service dog, he's pulling, he's not listening. Again, look at the area he is in. This is insanity, and my heart rate's probably up, honestly. I don't do well with crowds. Easy. And also, um, you know, I'd like, hey, I'd like to see somebody come out here, leave it. Whoa. Dog got a little close. Um, and not be overwhelmed yourself. I need to sit down. My heart's going boom. Leave it. Hi, right, Naki. Let's sit here. Shh, sit. Naki. Good boy. Stay. I'm actually shaking a little bit here. I do not do well in crowds. Shh. But I wanted to come because I know he needed the training. Uh, I wanted to grab a pumpkin roll. I still have to grab a pumpkin roll. Naki, leave it. Down. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> He's probably thirsty. I need to get him a bottle of water while I'm here. But, you know, if people are going to call out fake service dog, well, you know what? I promised you guys I would not lie to you about any of the training. You know, YouTube, most of these YouTubers training their service dogs show almost picture perfect behavior. But let me tell you what, there's a lot of this before you get to that picture perfect behavior. And I promise you guys I would not lie to you. I would not hide anything. And that is what I'm doing. I'm admitting what faults he has. And I'm doing my best to correct them and work with them. And anybody that wants to call that fake and a fake service dog, you're more than welcome to go check out someone else's videos. Um, but again, any negative comments just aren't going to be tolerated. I don't have time for it. Leave it. But think of it this way. For two years, I've been training this dog. If it's a fake service dog, why would I go through all this trouble just to bring a pet out in public? All right, buddy. We're going to go get a pumpkin roll and try to relax. Well, me, not you. <laughs> Good boy. I'm going to go try to relax. Pretty flipping loud in here. But he seems to be doing 
pretty good. Now I'm gonna sit and enjoy my 350 pumpkin roll. No, he's a working dog. Stay. No, stay. Now, unfortunately, he can't do photography. He's gorgeous. Thank you. Baby, stay. Me too. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for warning me, good boy. For the night of uh, brawl. Little pumpkin. Is he eating or what's he doing? He's he's eating the seeds in the middle of it first. And then I think he's gonna crunch it. I hope so. That good stuff. I'm making you something, Bubby. Good stuff, Bubby. I'm sorry you can't have much. There was a moment I wish I would have uh gotten on camera but I was in one of the gift shops and I was talking to a young lady who had PTSD and anxiety like I do and she's asking information about service dogs and whatnot and I steered her in the right direction and there was a moment where he just randomly started barking and jumping up on me and Cody he started barking and jumping up on me and Neither me nor the girl were having any issues, so I don't know what he was detecting. Not five minutes later, after I got him calmed down, some elderly woman came up to us and said, Your dog just saved me. I said, What do you mean? She said, Well, you were trying to figure out why your dog was freaking out, and something told me to check my blood sugar, and I did, and it's low. We're actually going to go get some food, so thank you for your dog. I really wish I got in the moment, but you know what? Sometimes the best things happen off camera. But he's enjoying his pumpkin, which is a raw pumpkin is okay, you guys. The seeds and everything's okay for him. Can actually help coat their stomach. Except one dog we have. Oh, yeah, the green free dog. For some reason, he got sick off of pumpkin. But um, for most dogs that don't have too sensitive of stomachs, this is actually really, really good for him. He didn't do 100% perfect like I had hoped, but you know what? He still worked hard, he still did his job, he still did his tasks. It's the best we can ask for. Right, Bobby? Here you go, boy. That good stuff. Yeah.